Okay, uh, today what we're going to do is go through MailChimp and we're going to show you how to add people to a list that's already a list that, that's already created as well as how we can send out a campaign uh, to, to the people we've just added in this list by copying an old campaign. So uh, let's go ahead and if we look, let's see over here to the left, uh, you're going to see your options. This is your basic navigation for MailChimp. So we're going to go ahead and click on lists because we're going to we're going to go ahead and add uh, some new customers uh, to a list here that's already created. So we're going to add them to this list here. It's the follow-up service list uh, that we want to add customers to. So to do that, uh, we have two different options. We can either add a customer in one by one, or over here to the right, uh, we can click import by clicking that drop down there. And that's going to allow for us to, to batch upload customers or uh, email contacts in either a CSV file or uh, by pre-selected programs that MailChimp's already created to uh, merge directly in with. So actually, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead real quick. I'm just going to show you uh, the easiest way for us to add in customers. Instead of adding them in one by one, if you have the option, if you have a CSV file, or if you have any of these pre-selected programs that are listed here, uh, your best bet is going to be to import your contacts all at once, because uh, of course that's that's much quicker than doing it one by one. And you'll notice that most programs that you use, whether it be an email program like uh, Yahoo, Outlook, Hotmail, Gmail, uh, a special CRM software, your database that has email addresses and and your customers contacts in there even like uh, QuickBooks any of those have an option that you can go into there and export your customers out with their email addresses into a CSV file so you'll want to look at trying to do that if you're trying to send a group of emails out or add particular customers to a certain list here in MailChimp and they're all in a, a particular database or even like an email contact list in your uh, everyday email um, you know program that you use uh, like I said if you happen to use any of these softwares like HiRISE or Salesforce uh, even over here Google contacts uh, MailChimp is already set up to basically allow you to just log into your account directly from MailChimp after you click the option here and then it'll grab all of your email addresses and customers or contacts directly from that specific software. So I'm going to go back now to where we were before and I'm just going to manually enter one or two customers into the follow-up service list. So this is the list screen. This is showing me all the lists that I have within uh, MailChimp. And typically you want to create a list specifically for a, a set campaign. Uh, so you might have a list that is created for, let's say, monthly follow-ups or, or newsletters or really anything that you, know, you want to create a list for. You're just going to click up here and create a list. And you'll want to make sure that each list that you have obviously contains the customers that you want to reside in that list. Uh, so we've already entered the first last name. We're just going to go ahead and click, yes, this person gave me permission. Every person you enter into... Uh, MailChimp uh, requires for you to either get them to opt in through some process on your website or an email or that you've asked them personally uh, to be able to send them out or to obtain their email address. Uh, so then also this option here will allow us to uh, have MailChimp automatically update this person if let's say this email list has already somebody in it with this particular email address whatever first and last name we place here uh, MailChimp will automatically update the email address in this list to reflect now the new first and last name alright so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell it to subscribe this person I've now added you can see up here it says hooray uh, this has been added so I know it's, it's been successful and just for the sake of the example here, we're going to enter in one more email address and one more, you know, one more contact. So, um, John Smith 
second. Okay, so now we've got a uh, new contact in here. And we want to make sure, if we can, to place uh, first and last name in uh, as this will go in with the salutation. If we don't put a first and last name in, we won't ever have the option to uh, have the email uh, contain the person's name in the greeting uh, if we wanted to personalize the email. So, And it's also a good idea if we want to be able to look up this person in MailChimp by their first or last name and move them over into specific lists uh, or remove them from a list or however we want to manipulate it. So I'll go ahead and check these two options again and I'll click subscribe. It shows me once again this person was added. So I've now added two new uh, customers to the follow-up service list. That's all you need to do to, to enter in a particular person and just to make sure that they've been added because it, it normally it takes a little bit of time for this number to update because this is the number of, of people that are in this list just so that we can confirm that these people have been added if we wanted to we can click the list itself and we'll be able to see those people uh, here so I can see uh, the two new subscribers that I've added right here and let's go ahead and, and let's go over now to send out the campaign so I'm going to go over to campaigns and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send a copy of a campaign that's already been sent out. So I want to send out to these two new uh, subscribers that I've added to the list the exact same email that I may have sent out here on the 1st of December or the 10th of November. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just to show you this email right here, I'm going to go view email and this will show you a copy of the email that was sent out to these people uh, just a little bit ago here today it's December the 1st so this is a copy of that email right here uh, this is a pop-up that opened up to show me a copy of that email that was sent out on the uh, actually today uh, so this is the exact same email I want to send these two new people that have added to the list so we're back here at the campaign screen. You can tell because of the navigation here, it says campaigns and up at the top, it'll also say campaigns. So this is our main screen for tracking results and to be able to send out a campaign or by clicking here, we can create an entirely new campaign. Uh, we're not gonna go over that today. Uh, what we'll be doing is just copying this email that was sent just a bit ago. And so to do that, I'm going to we go. I'm going to click replicate. And this will make a copy of this email and I will be able to edit anything in the email that I that I wish, but I'm going to keep everything in the email the same and I'm just going to make sure that Mailchimp knows to only send this cop the copy of this email out to the two new people that I've just added to the list. So, for this for this case we want to make sure out of these three options here that we're going to be sending this email to people in the follow-up service so it shows that here and we want to send it out to a special segment in other words a special group of people uh, in this follow-up list this list contains a total of 10 email addresses I only want to send this particular email out to the two new people that we just added to this list so in order to do that, I'm going to click send to new segment. I'm going to make sure that right here it says subscribers match any of the following. And here's the parameters. They must match uh, the date added is after the last campaign that was sent. Uh, and that, that was today. The, the campaign was sent, the last campaign that was sent to this list was on uh, December 1st, just a bit ago. And so automatically MailChimp will now only send this email out to people that were added to this list after the last campaign was sent. So we can, we can verify that we are sending it to the correct two people by clicking right here where it says two recipients. We're gonna go ahead and click that. A pop-up is going to open and it's just gonna confirm those two people. 
So in fact, we can see that these are the two people that I just added. That is correct. That's who we want this email to go out to. And anytime you mess with any of these parameters here, it, it should automatically update or it will update this count as long as you click right here, refresh count. So let's say for example, um, let's this, this drop down gives you the option to really kind of narrow down who you want in this list to receive an email. So let's say for example, we wanted to send this email out to everybody in this list out of the 10 people that maybe never opened any of our emails. So let's, we would select campaign activity. We would say, uh, did not open all recent campaigns. So with this new set of parameters right now, I would be sending out an email to anybody in this list that did not ever open, uh, any of their campaigns that was sent to them. So if I go here and I click refresh count, this will automatically refresh the count. Uh, and update who we are sending this list to so that I can see it here. Okay, so I've clicked refresh count. Uh, now we can see that it's updated. It's now showing me that there's four recipients in this email list that did not open uh, the email. So I'm gonna click here and we'll verify that those are the four people that we want this email to go out to. It'll show us in fact the four people in this list that did not open any of the campaigns that we've ever sent them. Okay, so uh, moving right along, uh, I'm going to go back to making sure that we are only sending this email out to people that were added to this list after the last campaign that was sent. So I click now campaign activity. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. We wanna go and select uh, date added is after, okay, is after and the last campaign that was sent. We can also tell it to, you know, send it after a specific, we can choose a date that we want to target people that were added after that particular date. Uh, that would be this option here. Okay, so now we're gonna refresh this count. It should go back to the two people showing us, in fact, yes, this is the two people uh, that we've added to the list. Uh, you'll notice there's five steps down here that every every email campaign is broken up into. Uh, realistically, since we are looking to send the exact same email out that we sent in the campaign earlier today, uh, I would just confirm at this point and skip all these steps and go ahead and send it out. Uh, but in this case, I just kind of walk you through this real quick and just show you uh, the next screen here is going to be set up. So we've clicked that, we're now at the setup screen. Uh, this is some basic details. You can kind of click and, you know, it'll give you an example here on what each field is. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's some more options here that you really don't need to worry about. It's more advanced tracking stuff. So I'm gonna leave all these settings the same as they were in the last campaign that I actually copied. So that's why all this is filled out. This is just pulling the data from the copied campaign. Uh, so uh, the template, I you know the template of the email is already created. I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to make any changes to it. So again, I'm just kind of running you through the five main steps so that you can get a visual. But we're not going to do anything. Uh, this is the email. If we want to edit it, I can edit it here. Uh, so it's a good idea though when you're creating a new email. This is a cool option by clicking here on the preview and test. You can send yourself a test email before you actually mail it out to your customers or whoever, just to make sure it looks right, uh, the subject line looks good, and you know the format looks right in your email uh, server or Outlook or whatever you use. Okay, so everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and confirm this uh, to go ahead and have it sent out. We are now going to be able to see that uh, you know everything looks good here in order, uh, and then we can go ahead and just either send this email right now or we can actually schedule the email by clicking schedule here and schedule it. Let's say if we wanted this email to go out, let's say seven o'clock after everybody's had dinner and that's the time we wanted to go out, we would schedule it. We would select uh, today's date and we would tell it what time we would like the email to go out. And then we could go ahead and just exit out of MailChimp and MailChimp will automatically send uh, the email out to whoever's in this list to be sent. And we would be um, kind of hands off on that. So at this time, I'm gonna send this, this email. Uh, so I click send. 
this is confirming that I would like to send it right now to the two subscribers that are selected in this follow-up service list. Okay, so this is the list. These are the subscribers that it's going to send to. And so I know I'm sending to two subscribers and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit send now. That is now going to, uh, usually takes about, uh, depending on how many emails you're sending out, uh, it could take anywhere from 30 seconds to up to two to three minutes for the emails uh, to actually go out. So that's it. We've now uh, added somebody to a list. We've copied a campaign and we've sent out uh, an email to two people in that particular campaign. So to see the results of this campaign, we would just click on the left here, campaigns. That's going to take us back and we're going to now see that campaign here, which is going to show up right at the top. This is the campaign that we sent. It's gonna show us we sent it to two subscribers. Nobody's opened the email yet and nobody's clicked on it. So that's a quick snapshot of the data from this email. We can get more insights and more analytics from this email by clicking view report right here. And this will show us uh, some more detailed information on this particular email that we've sent out. Uh, you can see here, uh, it'll show you how many people have opened it, how many people have clicked on the links. Uh, if the, there's incorrect email addresses, it'll show up here. Uh, it's likely that if we gave it about two minutes and came back in here, it would show that both of these email addresses bounced because they were uh, not valid or incorrect email addresses. Uh, it just hasn't had a chance to populate that data uh, just yet. And then if anybody unsubscribes from your email list, it'll show us here. Uh, MailChimp automatically sends out a field at the bottom of every email that you send out that allows for people to unsubscribe from your list. If a customer or whoever decides to unsubscribe from your email uh, list, uh, MailChimp will automatically unsubscribe that person from your email list. Or if it's a bad email altogether, again, MailChimp will automatically unsubscribe that person uh, from your email list. Uh, so there's additional data down here. We can see what people, what links people clicked on right here. Um, in that email that we sent out, there's three links throughout the email. Uh, if someone clicked on any of those links, it would show us in these numbers here. Uh, and it would show us exactly which link it was that they clicked on. If in that particular email that we sent, there's also a survey in it. So surveys, uh, to see the results of any uh, of the survey results, uh, you would click this advanced tab here at the top and there were two survey questions in the email that we sent out uh, you would you would find the results uh, if any customers voted or clicked on any of those answers here's all the options to this question right here and so we would see right here uh, that they clicked on it uh, same with the second survey question in there Okay, so that's pretty much it. That shows you exactly how you would add people into uh, an already created list and how we would send out an email to um, uh, an email campaign rather uh, that was already created to those people in a, a particular list. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can contact us here at Wired Frame. My name is Jacob Cordero. Our phone number is 866 835 7149 and you can check our website out at www.